Today is the uh, December December sixteenth, twenty twenty twenty. About to be twenty twenty one, and uh, we're back in downtown Hilo. It's just about the most I've seen as far as graffiti. As far as graffiti. <laughs> as far as graffiti is concerned. It is 78 degrees. Uh, it pretty much rained all day. And uh, right now I'm... Uh, I'm headed to the beach. I'm headed to Coconut Island right now. Um, I got to go there for the first time a few days ago. And it wasn't bad. Uh, <coughs> considering the... Uh, Considering the amount of rocks, considering the amount of rocks that are that are at most beaches, uh, considering uh, considering the amount of rocks that are at most beaches, what's going on? Uh, oh. Shoot. Good, good. How's it going? Um, uh, considering the amount of rocks that are at most beaches, uh, it's a great deal less at Coconut Island. <laughs> it's going to take me... Take me a little while to to get used to uh, used to that name, but uh, I'm sure before I know it, I'll have moved on to uh, to greener pastures in terms of beaches. Um, apart from uh, apart from Coconut Island, it just sounds so much like something you'd hear in Mario Kart or something like. Like Koopa Cove or Peach Beach or something. Um, and I, I can only imagine it was, uh, it was named in the same fashion, like, you know, like as part of, of tourism. Um, it rained all day today. And, uh, you can see the, the skies are still overcast. And honestly, that's just the weirdest thing to me, like... Art store in the in the distance. All right. Um. Yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to. Bunch of shops down that way. 
I saw them in previous videos. Um, I can only imagine how much these cost, but like these houses, well, I should say a house like this, um, the rest of these are just apartments, but like a house, like right by the shore, probably costs a little bit. I mean, not, I can't imagine it costs like Like, a whole lot of money, but still quite a bit, you know? Um, I mean, shoot, like a house that big in Queens is going to be, you know? It might be a few million dollars by now, and it's not near any, any beaches or anything scenic. And usually it's like your houses, the houses are stacked wall to wall against each other. For those of you who know New York, there's still a bunch of shops. Look at this Koji's lunch shop. There's still, there's still like tons of shops that I have not been to yet. That'll take me some time before I explore. Um, but, but yeah, um, as for right now, it's still something that I'm kind of having to get used to. Which is going to the beach when it's not hot out. Like, that is the most... <laughs> I, can't, I can't take it. That's the most... It's just a little bit weird, like... So... The type of weather that I'm used to is, like, northeast, north, northeast coast and southeast coast. In the northeast... The water is usually like quite cold and the only thing that really justifies going into the water at the beach uh, in any ocean or pool is if it's really hot out, like, you know, like at least, at least 90 degrees or, or higher. Um, and then in the south in places like Florida, the water is always warm. And it's always freaking hot enough to, to want to go to go into the water. Um, um, so I get that, but here it never really gets like stiflingly hot. But, the water also isn't really that cold. Um, but it's not as warm as you might find in some place like Florida. Um, so, it's, I would say that like, you know, on this, on this side of the island, 
as long as you are getting into some water that is not like um, river water um, or as long as you're getting into into the into the beach in some place where river river water is not running uh, is not running down from the mountains um, then on a sunny day um, which usually won't really won't really be any higher than than like 80 or 85 degrees um, you can go to a beach and um, and the water will be relatively warm between between uh, warm enough where you can comfortably just walk in uh, to cool enough where it will be slightly uncomfortable to to jump in, um, but but you adjust quickly. Um, so so yeah, it's a little bit weird being someplace where the water. The water temperature and the air temperature are like kind of in between. Like, like the water's not too cold on any given day. You know, whether it's rainy or sunny or 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 overcast or what have you, like the water is just not terribly cold. Um, though you might feel it a little bit depending on on where you go on this side of the island. And then, um, but also it never gets so hot that like you're being like, what's the word? Like, forced into the water by the sun. Like, you basically just have the option of going whenever... Whenever you feel like it. Like... So you can totally be around these beautiful beaches and not feel, like, the urge to... To jump in, I imagine. Like, because it just... It just isn't that terribly hot. Um, though, personally, I would say that once it reaches like the kind of the highs for here, which are like around around 86, then I'll, oftentimes it'll be 86 and quite humid. Um, and in those instances, in those instances, I personally wouldn't want to jump in, but in general, I mean, I just like swimming. So, I mean, honestly, if the water was, if the water was warmer here, was just a little bit warmer, I would go swimming, probably rain or shine day or night um as long as i felt it was safe um that's the only other thing wow these trees are just
remarkable coming from the East Coast. They spread out so wide. In the East Coast on the mainland, we uh, we have uh, trees like oak trees and pine trees. Kind of just standard trees. I don't know. Like, I guess these are standard for for out here, but um. Just up this way, there's a there's a laser tag place for the island. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. Kamehameha Avenue. Oh no, it's too hot. <laughs> 